Oh my god, is that a shoe time mechanic? What? <laughs> What's up everybody, Durek back at it again with another video on Insurgency Sandstorm Operation Nightfall. We are going to talk about everything that's mostly in there. The reason I say mostly is because there are a lot of things that are actually locked in this update, which I assume they're going to unlock as soon as, you know, it drops, or maybe sooner than I think. And according to this, it's going to drop on June 16th, which is just right around the corner from where we are now. So let's go ahead and hop into this. The first thing that we're going to talk about here is a brand new map called Tideway. Why not Tideway? It is a fully remade mastered and reimagined version of the popular insurgency 2014 map boo ba ba riz but Barriz? Man, what is up with all these freaking names? Slug it out in a desert town just along the riverbank and take the iconic bridge. So yeah, I remember this map from Insurgency 2014, which not a whole lot of people were happy about because, you know, they would like to see a brand new map and not rehashed ones. But it's always good to see uh, an, an original map come back, but like, you know, completely different. I mean, I feel like this map should have been in the game day one, but we'll talk about that later. It's actually a pretty good map, seemed to run pretty well. And uh, yeah, that's the map. Hope everybody enjoys playing on it. So that was that let's go ahead and push on two weapons here green to green dude let's go there are five new weapons as far as i know let's go over them here the first one we got is the grease gun here are all the attachments let's see how it fires Cool. The next one we have here is the honey badger. Here's all the attachments. New man again. Man, I gotta say, I really like this gun. Unless we got the Sterling. Here are all the attachments. Pretty cool gun. I think the insurgents are the ones that actually have the World War II guns. But yeah, pretty cool. The next one here is the AS Val. Ooh, this is a nice weapon too. I can't choose between the Honey Badger and the Val. These are some nice weapons. And then the last weapon here is the Well Rod. This is an interesting looking weapon. It's basically a pipe and a mag. I believe that this weapon was used for like covert ops, I think. It has an interesting reload animation. That reload animation takes freaking forever though. So you better shoot the guy the first time if you decide to use this thing. Pretty neat and silent though, gotta say. The next thing that we're going to talk about is just the fact that they added night maps to every single map. I've said this in the past and I'm gonna say it again. I honestly think that a lot of games should adopt a day and night cycle along with rain and evening because it's kind of like cheating. Like to give a good example, there's a game that I used to play a little while ago, but it, it's just kind of like dead now, called uh, Vanguard Normandy 1944. They only had three maps, but because they had all that day and night cycle, it honestly felt like nine to 12, just because of how well the maps were designed and the night, day, rain, and evenings kept revolving after every match, it never felt stale. So I really like how they added in night maps. Let's hope we can see maybe fog, rain, and evening maps sometime in the future. So that was night maps. Let's go ahead and talk about the equipment that you can use when you're in night maps there are multiple night vision goggles that you can get we've got the mil spec nvg am mil spec nvg gn mil spec nvg wp the SOF MVG AM
I'm sure these are all abbreviations for bigger words, but I have no idea and don't feel like looking them up. But anyways. The SOF NVGWP. and the SOF NVG MC. They also have two new side rails. They've got an IR flashlight and an IR laser sight and something new called training where if you click this on, it doesn't cost anything. You can actually aim with your laser sight. This is something that I've seen in Modern Warfare. I'm not sure if any other game has this sort of thing, but that's kind of cool. Like when you have this on and you have your goggles on, it'll keep using the IR laser sight when you aim. And if you don't want to use the laser sight, you take off the goggles and it goes back to your regular sights. It's a bit tedious. I kind of hope that they make it so that you can just, you know, press a button and just you know swing back and forth but i do like it and it is in the cte so maybe it'll change there's also a brand new night vision scope it's a times four and times seven i didn't actually get a look at that when i was trying this stuff out there's also a bunch of uh cosmetics they didn't actually show it off and i didn't actually get a good look at that either but they should be here on the screen So my only issue with the goggles is that it feels a bit dark. Like it's still hard to see people even with the goggles on. Like when I was playing on stream, everything looked better when light was on than without, which I think that should be the opposite when you have night vision goggles on. Like if you try to look at the light, it should like blind you, but it actually felt better when you were standing in the light. So yeah, if they could fix that, then I think it's gonna be golden. Overall, this is a pretty big update, especially with those extra locked updates that haven't been shown or talked about yet. This is actually going to be a pretty significant one. Now, while I think this update is pretty good, again, I feel like a lot of this stuff should have been day one, and then they should have added on top of that. But, you know, it's here. Can't really change the past anymore. And that was pretty much what's in this update. So it's relatively big. And uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? Is this something that's going to make you come back to Insurgency Sandstorm? If anybody hasn't played it yet, is this what gets you into it? I think that it's definitely come a long way, but I felt like it could have been bigger earlier on in the saga. But those are just my thoughts. What are yours? If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Insurgency Sandstorm, then why don't you go ahead and like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's brand new, subscribe and ding the bell. If you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye